In this video, I will be configuring disk pool with a RAID Z1 disk layout in TrueNAS scale. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now a few bits of information about the RAID Z1 is that only one disk will be used for parity in a single VDEV. All other disks will be used for capacity. And for the most minimal RAID Z1 configuration, we need at least three disks. And RAID Z1 provides us with least redundancy compared to other RAID Z layouts, but it also gives us the most capacity. And here you can see one of the configurations that I will be demonstrating in this video. In this configuration, I have a single VDEV that is three wide. That means that I'm using three hard drives per VDEV. And the drive capacity that I'm using in this example are 8 gigabytes, and the total capacity in this pool is 16 gigabytes because we are using one hard drive for redundancy. And this means that we can lose a single hard drive in this configuration and still have all of our data. And to demonstrate it in Trunet scale, I will go to my server. Now, to create a pool, we need to go to storage, then click on create pool. First, we need to name our pool, I will name it zpool. I will not be using encryption, so I'll click next. Then we need to select our layout. For this video, I will select RAID Z1. Then we need to select our disk type and size that we want to use in this pool. So I will be using my 8 gigabyte HDD drives. Now we need to provide the width and also the number of VDEVs that we want in this pool. And in the configuration that is in the GitHub page, we have a single VDEV that is three wide. So in here, I need to select three for width. As you can see, this is the uh, list of the hard drives that I can select. And for number of VDEVs, let's select one. And here you can see that I'm creating a single RAID Z VDEV that is made of three eight gigabyte hard drives. And the total capacity is 16 gigabytes. And that's because we are using one of the eight gigabyte hard drives for redundancy. So we only have the capacity of two hard drives. And to increase the capacity, we can make this VDEV more wide by adding more hard drives. But adding more hard drives will only add capacity, but it will not add redundancy. And to demonstrate this, I will once again go to my GitHub page, because here I have another example. In this configuration, once again, I'm creating a single VDEV, but this time it's four wide. That means that I'm using four hard drives per VDEV in this pool. And as you can see, the total capacity will be 24 gigabytes, so it's increased by one hard drive compared to the last configuration, but the redundancy will be the same. That means that I can only lose a single hard drive in this configuration, and if I lose two hard drives, all of the data in this pool will be lost. And no matter how many hard drives I add to this single VDEV, it will only increase the capacity, and the redundancy will always be one drive. Because in the RAID Z1 layout, only one hard drive is used for parity in a single VDEV. And to demonstrate that, I will go back to my server. And for example, let's increase width from 3 to 4. As you can see, now we are using 4 8 gigabyte hard drives and the total capacity increased to 24. But once again, we only have one hard drive for redundancy. And it doesn't matter how many hard drives I add to the single VDEV, the redundancy will be always one. For example, I can add 24 hard drives, that means that I can lose one hard drive from my 24 and I will not lose any data. But if I lose at least two hard drives in this configuration, I will lose all of the data in this pool. Anyways, so to increase the redundancy in RAID Z1 layout, the only option for us is to add more VDEVs. But this will require a lot more hard drives from us. And for demonstrating this, I have another example. In this configuration, I'm creating two VDEVs that are three wide. And in this configuration, I'm using six hard drives. The available capacity will be 32 gigabytes. And the redundancy is that we can lose two hard drives, but we can lose only one hard drive per VDEV. That means that I can lose a single hard drive in this VDEV and a single hard drive in this VDEV. And I will still have all of my data, but if I lose two hard drives in this one or in this one, then all of the data in this pool will be lost. And that's because in RAID Z layout, we can only have a single hard drive for parity in each VDEV. And all other hard drives in the same VDEV will always be used for capacity. Now to demonstrate this configuration in the server, we need to change width from 24 in this case to three and change the number of VDEVs from one to two. 
And here you can see that I'm creating two VDEVs that are RAID Z1, and each of them will have three 8 gigabyte hard drives. The total capacity will be 32 gigabytes. And once again, we can increase the width to add more capacity. For example, we can change from three to five hard drives per VDEV. This will drastically increase the capacity, but it will add no redundancy. And once again, for redundancy, we need to increase the number of VDEVs because increasing the width will only increase the capacity. So in this configuration right here, you can see that I have three VDEVs that are three wide, and we have another hard drive for redundancy. But for this configuration, we had to add three more hard drives. And in this configuration, I'm using nine hard drives. I will have the capacity of six drives. That means that I will have 48 gigabytes available capacity. And for the redundancy, I will be able to lose three hard drives, but once again, only a single hard drive in each VDEV. And once again, if I make my VDEVs more wide, I will only increase the capacity as you can see in this example right here. So in this example, I'm using 12 hard drives. I will be able to have the capacity of nine hard drives. So 72 gigabytes. And my redundancy will be the same as in the previous example. I will be able to lose up to three hard drives, but only one in each VDEV. And this is very important to understand because this means that if I lose two hard drives in a single VDEV, that means that I will lose all of the data in this disk pool. Anyways, now to complete the configuration in Turner scale, I will be configuring this layout right here. So three VDEVs, four wide. So let's go back to the server. Let's select four wide, three VDEVs. And here you can see that I'm creating three RAID Z1 VDEVs. Each of them will have four 8 gigabyte hard drives and the total available capacity will be 72 gigabytes. And now to finish the configuration, I will click on save and go to review. Then I will click on create pool. I will confirm and then click on continue. And here you can see the pool that I created. So the name is Z pool. Here we can see the layout. So we have three read Z1 VDEVs that are four wide and the hard drives that I'm using are eight gigabytes. And one last thing is that if you're using SSD drives in your pool, make sure to enable trim. Otherwise the SSD drives will get very slow over time. And to enable it, you only need to click on edit auto trim and enable it and then click on save. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.